Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to automatically create a vCard QR code in Adobe InDesign using Data Merge. So I'm going to open up my InDesign file that I've created. This is a simple two and a half, two by three and a half uh, business card size. And as you can see here, I've already linked my data source. But if you uh, need to know where to go to get to Data Merge, go to Window come down to utilities and it's right here data merge and when you're ready you're going to have to click the little hamburger menu click on select data source and select your actual uh, CSV file InDesign will only recognize either a text file or a CSV file I use CSV, CSV file pretty much exclusively it's kind of an industry standard so to speak so what are we looking at here we have a photo here we have some person's first and last name and then we have this QR code here so if I click my preview button here and I hit my W key to actually preview this you can see the data merge here has three different types of uh, merged information text which is all of this information here a photo and then a barcode, which in this case is a QR code. So I'll show you the data source in just a second, but to create a QR code from within InDesign, it's relatively simple. Essentially, you draw out your box, you right click, you go come down here to generate QR code. You select what type of content you want. In this case, we're gonna use the business card or the V card. Fill in this information. You can select a different color if you want. Let's just leave it as black and I click OK. And now if I hover the, over this, you can see it tells me, OK, begin V card. It gives me the version number, all of the information that I just typed in. And then um, if you scan this with your phone, it'll function to add this person's information into your address book. And essentially, this to QR code to the right is doing the same thing except it's pulling information from this uh, this data source here that I have set up so in this case this QR code is not going to work with what we want to do this time around because this is a static element that will would be applied to every page in this case we want this information to change based on the record so I'm going to delete that and you can see here as I scroll through my database not only does the person's name and their photo but their QR code is changing as well if you look up in the top right hand corner there. Um, I'll give a little information on how I created this little style a little bit later on but as I go back and forth here you can see the person's information changing uh, as I scroll through the records. So I'm going to uncheck that real quick. I'm going to come back here to my file open in LibreOffice. This will function the same in Google Sheets or in Microsoft Excel. The key is that you need to save this as an actual Excel document and you need to keep it as an Excel document because there is a function in here that needs to be retained if you want to make changes to this database later down the road. When you have everything set up and you want to basically put this data into InDesign, that's when you have to save it as a CSV. But always keep your original Excel file saved because once you create it as a CSV, you're going to lose this function that's applied to this last column here. So quickly, I'll just run through the data here. I have first and last name, their title, phone, email, their address, city, state, and zip. The photo, I have the at symbol in the header row, and basically that's so that InDesign can uh, determine that this is an actual photo record. And then the last thing here under the QR code, you have to put the hashtag symbol at the begin uh, beginning because that's how InDesign will interpret it that as an actual barcode or in this case a QR code. So I'm not going to go through everything with this. I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video to this data source so that you can download it yourself and use it as a template. But essentially, I have information that I pulled here from the Wikipedia page on vCard. And this here has an example 
of how a V card basically kind of functions. Uh, depending on the version number, you have to have certain parameters. And if you go down here into the uh, below where it says properties, this shows you all of the fields that are required when you create a V card. In this case, they're using version 4.0, and that's what I've used here in my database source. You have to have this begin V card, the actual version, FN basically stands for the person's name, and then these are all optional properties that you can put in here. And at the very end, you have to have it say end V card, and that will essentially close out the QR code. So there's lots of different things that you can add to it, like a person's gender, um, their a photo, a link to a photo, their organization, multiple types of telephones, um, their title, URL, lots of different things that you can add to it. In my database, I just have those items here to the left that I talked about earlier. And the way I have this set up is using the concat function in Excel. And basically, the way that that is set up is you have static elements that you put in between um, quotes and then every time you go to a different you want a different part of or different data source you put a comma and then you can either put more quotes have more static information or you can pull items from the other part of the Excel file here so in this case the beginning part which talks about the creation of the V card is in quotes because that's a static element then I have a comma here and then this is pulling from the first column of my database here which is the person's first name and you as you go through here this is their you know first name last name their um, title cell phone number etc etc and again if you have more properties that you want to add you can add on to this if you want to take some of it away you can take some of it away as well the reason you don't type it out, even though it's displaying exactly as it should be, if you want to just copy this and paste it, it'll work just fine. However, I want to set it up as uh, variable information here pulling from these columns because if I ever want to go back in here and add information, I want to add a new record, let's say, or maybe this person maybe they change their title or they change their phone number and you just want to edit that one part this column here will automatically link to that so you don't actually have to come back in here and make the change not only in the columns on the left but then this column as well so again I'll, I'll leave the uh, link to this file here but as soon as I'm ready to go ahead and create the actual QR code um, or excuse me the database I'm gonna save this as a CSV file and then open it up in data merge. <coughs> so if I come back in here into my InDesign file, um, I have everything linked with my data source. And if I hit my W key here, there is a little bit of limit of a limitation when you use this kind of um, data merge. And I'm gonna create a new box here and I'm going to link my QR code a second time here and the problem is by default the QR code is always going to show up in black so if you want to give it a little bit of a style you can come up here and you can select a different color however it's just going to oops I guess I actually have it selected it's only going to change the background color of that box and it's not going to change the color of the actual QR code itself which in most cases is probably fine but if you have a certain color here like obviously this black and red is pretty hard to see um, if you had um, a color maybe that was like gray or something like that it'd be really really hard to see this so there is one way that you can do kind of a workaround with it and that's what I've done over here to the right so I have two boxes that I've created, a background box that I have filled with black with a magenta outline, and I've also created some rounded corners on that. And then I have the a second box on top of it that is my actual link to my QR code field here in my database. So if I click my W 
key here and um, take off the preview, you can see here this is the box here that is linked down to this QR code field. I'm going to go back into my preview here, click my W again. And so in order to get this to show up with the actual QR code changing color, what I'm going to do is click on the box here. I'm going to right click and go down to effects and I'm going to change the inner glow. And essentially what I've done here is I've changed this to normal. I've bumped up the opacity all the way to 100. The technique is going to be set to precise. The source is edge. Give it a one eighth of an inch size, and then I'm going to put the choke all the way up to 100%. Now, depending on the size of your box here, you may have to play around with this just a little bit. But this default, this these settings here as a default should work pretty well in most cases. And now, if I click on the box here, I can change the color to whatever I want. So right now, it's set to magenta. If I click here, it'll change it to yellow or red or blue or whatever I want in this case let's just say I want yellow and I'm gonna click OK and so now I have a QR code here that not only is variable but it also has um, this different color I also added my logo on top this is similar to some of the things that you may find online where they have like a um, you know some kind of QR code creator with special characters or uh, different colors and things like that there's a little limitation to it you can't actually like change the color of these little boxes here and you can't add in any kind of like fancy um, dot patterns or things like that but you can change the color and you can put the logo on top this is basically just another box on top that I uh, put my logo in here um, so you know there is limitations but it gives you a little bit more options as far as a designer is um, concerned and just real quick I'm gonna delete this one out I have this QR code app on my computer and if I click this basically just like a phone it's gonna show up here and it's gonna tell me all the V card information this is the same thing if I just hover over this but uh, this does show you that it's actually working if I were to double click this, I could add it directly to my address book on my um, my computer. And the same thing will hold true if you use your phone to scan this as well. Hold it over, you scan it, and then you can add it directly to your address book. So this gives you a little bit more design cho choices. And the great thing about it, obviously, is since this is variable, um, it'll change based on whatever you have in your database. You can update your database, you can add records to your database, and then you can go ahead and you can create your design however you see fit, and it'll automatically generate all the QR codes for you. So if anybody has any questions, feel free to leave those down in the comments below. I'm happy to help, happy to answer. Um, please give the video a like, subscribe if you aren't subscribed. I try to post videos like this all the time. and. Uh, I will leave a link down in to my Discord. I have some other stuff on there that uh, um, I'm trying to build a little community on. And if you want to help support the channel, just leave a super thanks. I really appreciate any support I can get. And I'm hoping just to keep growing this channel as much as possible. So thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate the view. Again, if you have any questions, leave, the, leave them down in the comments section below. And if not, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.